5.30 a.m. club looks like. Oh, I've just woken up. I am denied about whether to get up at this time this morning. But if I stop, then my new routine stops. And I'm really keen to give myself an extra hour in the day. It's been brilliant so far. I've probably been doing this routine now for maybe three or four weeks. And the hardest bit is getting out of bed. But once you're out of bed, like now, I'm so pleased. I am so pleased that I'm doing this. You get to see the sunrise in the morning, the world wake up. start to the day unfortunately England did not bring it home last night a bit of a shame although I know that Spain have done incredibly well and congratulations to them so it's 9 20 in the morning I have currently taken GB to the airport we watched the sunrise together it was huge this morning I really thought it was going to be blue skies all day it has actually clouded over now but the clouds may break through later on. I have worked, I've been teaching this morning, then I went to post some orders. I've popped into Lidl because I don't know if you are the same, but when your other half is away, I just wanted to get some treats basically and a dinner. I've got some soup in the fridge, although I don't know, I feel like it's going to be too hot for soup. I like soup on a cold day, but I have got some bread rolls. I may just have those for lunch with some cheese in. And then I've bought some prawns because I'm really onto prawns at the moment. I will either have those with noodles or maybe a salad, but I've gone and got sucked in to one of the little special buys. Yes, I have bought another plant. Just popping my glasses on because these are the air purifying plants. There's a whole selection and this was £3.49. I mean, can't really go wrong. I have got a spare pot at home. Oh, I don't need any more plants. I really don't need any more plants. GB counted up the plants the other day and he counted 30. However, this really should go in the office. There's a lot of technology in there and one tiny little plant will help to purify the air. I'm just trying to kid myself. Then I found this plant 
I love the plant, but actually it's the pot that I like more. So this is exactly the same color way as in my bathroom. And I do have a space for it. I think it's a cheese plant. You can find out, can't you, the names of plants by looking on your iPhone. If you take a photograph, then you go to the information button at the bottom and they were 5 99 I've bought the Hungry Hippos, the Percy Pigs Dupe, and I've bought the Fruit Chews, which is the Colin, the Caterpillar, Marks and Spencer's Dupe. I'm actually at Home Bargains. I really do want to get some grass seed for some of the grass entrance area going into our apartment block. It's just a little bit patchy in places. So I want to have a look for that and also some bath salts and just a few little things. If there's things worth showing you, I'll show you. I like the summer bunting. There's no colours that I particularly would like, but I think they're really nice for 99p. I think that's quite good. One of my favourite songs has just come on. It helps on a Monday morning. All the activities ready to take to the beach. We used to always have a kite when we would go to Hunstanton. If I was a child again, I would go for the rainbow one first, or the one with the sunshine on. I'm actually going to see if the rainbow one is there. I bet it isn't. No, it's not. I do remember last year when we went to Hunstanton and we had a kite similar to this one. And you know the handle on the end? I let the kite go and didn't realise that it wasn't attached to the handle. So it just flew off into the um, into the air, but I did run back and get it. It's great that they do a little selection of dry flowers as well, because sometimes, particularly with autumn coming up, you can add things like that to a wreath. So they're now doing dried eucalyptus in home bargains. It's a really good idea to put something like this in a bathroom because the steam will just help the smell. And actually it does smell really good, honestly. GB says, when I put Classic FM on, he imagines, <laughs> he imagines that that is what is actually going on in my head. Now, which herb is parsley? Okay, so that's coriander. Ah, oh, there's the parsley. Actually, it doesn't look as bad as I first thought. So this is the parsley that I've got. Today, it does seem far more perkier than it has been. What I wanted to do was to compare it to this one. So these are 79p. This parsley is from Lidl. This parsley is from Aldi. This is very interesting. I think they are different varieties. I'm gonna have to do some research, I believe. Where do I put my two new pots? Currently in our kitchen, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten herbs. And then I've got two more flat parsleys. If I run out of plant pots, which does occasionally happen, I will use these mugs. Now, these mugs are never used as an actual drinking cup. They're very big. They are too big for us. Being the coffee snobs that we are, we like a small coffee. So we like these cups, but we do not like this size, but they do come in handy. Ta-da! Then I just put this bit at the back. Perfect. I literally don't know what GB is gonna say to more herbs. How many herbs does one person need? So we've got the rosemary and thyme, basil, parsley. 
Over here, we've got parsley, parsley, but we've realized that they're two different varieties, basil and mint. And then just around the corner here, I've got coriander. And we've got I'm really enjoying using that Perdian fig. It does smell very good. England are on their way home from Berlin after they lost to Spain in the Euros final last night. I was just thinking about lunch actually and I think what I'm going to do is make up my own salad by having a base of herbs. Does that work? Let's see what else I can put with it. So far we've got a bed of herbs, prawns. So there's some salmon. That's not really needed. I've got some mushrooms. This is a good one because we can use up what we've got. They're a possibility. Spring onions, great. Something green. And do you know, I'm gonna use an apple. You can get an apple salad. And I have got an onion, but I'm gonna use spring onion. Oh, feta. I'm gonna use some feta. I don't have much else, guys. What's this avocado like? Nope. So we've got some nice parsley there. Get my kitchen scissors. So I'm just gonna cut some off the top. I often use basil when I'm creating a salad. I'm going to add some prawns and I'm going to add some feta. Mm, 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 mm. But do you know, I'm thinking I might put some walnuts in because apple and walnut go really nicely together. Right, let's see what this is like. works. I'm going to be honest, eating the parsley like this is quite strong and it wouldn't be for everybody. Eating basil this way is easy. Prawns and feta go and feta, apple and walnuts go. I think it's just the prawn and the apple that sounds a bit weird but I've got that on my fork now so let's see. Honestly, it's not unpleasant at all. I would definitely have this again. I probably wouldn't be so heavy handed with the parsley next time. So that was just prawn and apple in that mouthful. And it worked. It sounds weird because you don't think it would. I'm nearly at the end of this now. So the verdict is I would definitely eat this again. What I would do next time is just take the leaves rather than the stem because this bit was a bit difficult to work with, yet the leaves were really easy. I would have this again, I would. After this, I'm gonna grab a coffee. I'm gonna see if I'm on aqua tonight and crack on with some admin. Well, this arrived fast, I only ordered it yesterday. When I was with my sister, I was talking to her about that I don't like to wear a lot of makeup, but my complexion is not even. And she mentioned a website to me that I've never heard of before called Look Fantastic. So much packaging isn't there always for something so small. Look at the size difference. This will be recycled. Today is completely a no makeup day. I don't see the point of me putting makeup on to 
go to Lidl this morning to come home, work from home all day, to then go to Aqua, to then come home. I'm very red, very much on my nose, but also here, I'm not so worried about the cheeks, but my red area, I literally feel like Rudolph, and I love Christmas, but I really don't want to be Rudolph. Let me just grab some glasses. I have two pairs of glasses. I have a pair of glasses that I don't mind being seen in. And then I have a pair of glasses that are just really for home use, but I don't literally know where my other ones are because I put them down. I need my glasses to read anything. So these are my ones that are sort of just for home use, not to go out, but anyway, I'm gonna show you now. The backs of them are not even straight, so God knows what these are gonna look like, probably wobbly and all sorts. But these are good because they are actually stronger than my other ones. So this is Le Roche Posay Daily Tinted Cream. Visibly even skin tone and helps prevent hyperpigmentation. Something that I look for in all of the products is the SPF and then the UVB, the UVA. And this one has it all. And I've literally been looking to find something similar. Factor 50. So that's great. Now, apparently... When you put this on, it can appear quite orange and then it will even out. I am very keen just to see what this looks like on my skin. They say don't do this on your hand because your hand is a different skin tone to your face. Right. I really do like it. Oh, she'll be so pleased. I never buy makeup. She'll be so pleased. I mean, I know that that's on my hand but I was keen to feel the texture of it. And actually that feels quite nice. It actually feels dewy. I don't know why I'm putting it on my face. <laughs> I do random things. Oh, oh, she'll be so pleased. I am absolutely delighted with that. You can get this on Amazon, but it was definitely more expensive on Amazon. Now, I think including delivery and it arrived today, that this cost £20, which for me is quite a lot of money for makeup. So we will wait and see. I mean, it'll be obvious if it's working because I'm going to start using it from tomorrow. And if I have a red nose, then it's not working. If I have no red nose, it is working. I actually am looking forward to some strawberries this evening. I mean, isn't this just the picture of summer? Strawberries. The little ones are very good indeed. When I was young, I used to have like a teaspoon of sugar on my strawberries. Did you used to do that? And is that still a thing? I mean, it's very good, but I'm guessing with the sugar that's in the strawberries and the sugar that's in the sugar, we probably shouldn't do it nowadays, should we? I've had a look and I'm now number four on the wait list for Aqua. That probably means that I'm gonna get onto the session. I do tend to go a bit earlier if I can, if I can because then I can get a swim in as well. Aqua's not really enough, just on its own. I'm gonna head down to the pool now, do a workout, go in the steam room and then come home. I'm gonna eat all the pasta tonight and I can't wait. tonight it feels like the nights are definitely drawing in i mean i know we're only middle of july but this does make me happy 